Hi, Tom Donnie here. Wanted to show you today how to check your trap volume. Come just a little closer. We, we went ahead and put a head on this block. We've got a head gasket in place. We've got everything torqued. We've got it ready to check. The last thing we'll do is we'll take a straight edge and we'll be sure we're even with this block. We've got a nice even area for fluid to fill into. Once that's full, now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my trusty uh, cylinder here, McGee, and I'm going to zero it out, fill it all the way to zero, and I'm going to put it to the cylinder that I've greased up. I've already put grease also into the cylinder walls with the piston at True TDC, top dead center, and I grease it so the solvent doesn't go by. Then you can use solvent or water, whatever. I don't like water just because it adheres poorly, and if it gets anywhere, it'll go down into your main bearings, and I'm not a big fan of that. But once I get it done, I'll basically I'll put my gauge, my uh, tube in here, and I'm going to start filling it. And I'm going to fill it to the bottom of the plug hole. And it's a little bit of trial and error you'll have to use to deter so that you determine what is Service, the bottom seven, of your Service, six, the bottom of your plug hole. I like it to come into the threads just a little bit so you get rid of some of that cohesion because the solvent will still stick in there. But you, you'll after you do it a few times, you'll start to get some consistent numbers. And this is the truest way to check your compression ratio. Then all you have to do is figure your the volume of your bore and stroke, which is really easy. You've got your CC number for your trap volume, so that's all the fluid that's going in. You know, it's, it's filling up the head, it's taking up the space of the head gasket. Any crowd we have of the piston, that's going to be accounted for. This is the truest, simplest way to do it. it does require having the vehicle or the engine out of the vehicle so that you got to do it prior to installation. But then you can see what your compression ratios are and then um, change the uh, volume in your head if need be. We'll do a flat plate volume on this head first where we basically mount the head onto some fixtures and we're going to put a plastic plate on the head and we'll actually check the volume of the head first to see what it CC's at. After that's done, we'll throw it on here we'll do our trap volume check. Those two numbers will give you good references to work with so you can play with your compression ratio and get everything right on your engine. This is Tom Donnie from Fort Dodge signing off. And I just finished my trap volume on my cylinder head. And the trap volume measurement I came up with is a 22.4 cc that I measured through the spark plug hole with the engine level and on my engine stand. That's one cylinder. All right. Now I need to do the math on this. So the bore of each cylinder is 66 millimeter. You divide bore by two. So in a 66 millimeter, that's 33. Once you have that number, you take your 33 times itself, would be 1,089. Okay. Then you take your 1,089, multiply it by pi. That gives you your 3419.46. Once you have that number, you multiply it by your stroke. Stroke on a Saab three cylinder is 72.9 and actually a little less. The book will say 73, but it's 72.9. If you mic it out, it's actually a little bit less than that also. So once I'm all done there, 72, I do, have done all my math, I'll come up with 249.278 cc per cylinder, all right? Now, if you wanna know what your total engine size is, you just multiply it by the number of your cylinders, which is three, and that'll give you your 748 cc roughly. And you'll see the Saab specs will never, they say it's a 750cc, but it's just a little bit less. All right, so we've got that number for the single cylinder number of the 249, 278cc. All right, add that to the number, the trap volume that we did through the spark plug hole on the motor. We take that trap volume number and we add it to our cylinder or our bore cc. And that's, again, this is just one cylinder. That will give us a one cylinder total CC volume of 271,678. Once I have this number, bring it over here, write it down, and divide it by your trapped volume. Again, that trapped volume is going to be the, the uh, volume in the head that includes your head gasket and any proud you have piston of the block. So it's a very accurate way to do it if you're doing your uncorrected compression ratios. So this gives you a actual compression ratio of 12.1. So 12.1 to one is what my actual compression ratio is with that head and piston configuration in that block. And there is a corrected compression ratio as you can do too, where you're doing math once the piston gets to the top of the exhaust port, because really air is escaping until the piston goes all the way up. But 
for my purposes, I use this static um, uncorrected method and at least gives me a great idea of where I'm at. Then I can use cranking pressure or take a compression test on the engine and see what if I've got 130 PSI, 150 PSI, 180 PSI, whatever I might have to give me uh, a better idea of what I've actually got for compression. And uh, this is a lot of fun to do on the old Saab. Just remember as you do it, um, you're going to, uh, anytime you add compression, the, the chance of a motor failure increases. So knock your timing down a bit and be sure to use a higher octane fuel. But anyway, have fun with it. If you've got questions, call or drop me an email, tomsaab at gmail.com. And uh, good luck with your old Saab. This is Tom Downey from Fort Dodge, Iowa, signing off.